Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I hope this fireplace is not distracting. I might find another one. I feel like it's kind of intense. I feel like this is a more natural flame. This is gonna be my 2023 gift guide. Another quick disclaimer is that I will have affiliate links in the description box, which means I may earn a very small commission if you use my links. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. The first thing I wanna talk about is art supplies and stationery. Sorry, I just woke up. If you're like, why is her voice sounding so weird? It's not vocal fry, I just woke up. But last year I talked at length about the Hobonichi notebook. I'm gonna be getting one for myself this year, but this year I wanted to shout out another notebook brand. If you're a stationary head, you might know about the Midori notebooks already, but if you don't, I found out about them recently. Midori is a Japanese company and they make beautiful notebooks. Um, I have one right here. It's my journal, so I'm not gonna show you guys what's in it, but they're just like really simple notebooks. You can't touch the paper, but I wish you could. It's just like paper that isn't very thin. Like it, it, it's great writing paper. I think they have ones for drawing too. If you don't mind having thinner drawing paper, I think this would be perfect. It's not so thin. Like if you touch a Hobonichi, you know, like you can see through that paper. Um, and I don't love drawing on super thin paper. So I think this paper would be good to draw on. I personally use it as a journal and for writing, but it's just so pleasant. Like I have never written on nicer paper. If that gives you any indication of like how nice these notebooks are. The next thing I wanna talk about more art supply related are these golden acrylic paints. I have started using them recently and it's just like changed the acrylic painting game for me. I've used so many like cheaper acrylic paints that I just thought like acrylic paint was that way. Like, I don't know if you guys have used like acrylic paints that are just like super plasticky and unpleasant to use, um, but these ones are so nice. They blend beautifully, they dry fast, and they don't give you that like plasticky finish that I'm used to with so many other brands. Um, they are a bit more expensive. The, I think these tubes are like nine, around $9. Um, I think they can go for a variety of prices that I think I buy them for on $9. So getting like a smaller mixing set or just some like one or two select colors, I think would be a great gift. Another art supply I've been loving has been these, um, I've talked about these a lot, the Caron Dash Neo Color 2s. These are um, water soluble wax pastels. Um, are these wax? Yeah. They're water soluble wax pastels and they just give like really fun texture. They're so much fun to use. I've been calling them adult crayons um, and they blend beautifully. Um, you can also use water to dil dilute them down, um, get like really fun watercolor -y texture with them. They're super fun to play around with. If you haven't tried these yet and you are a traditional artist, I highly, highly recommend these. These are like my, I guess these are like my art supply faves of the year, but I have also been loving the pen pens. If you've been watching my videos, um, you probably see me using these all the time. I love to draw with these. Um, they just look like this. They have this tip, but like I personally don't love using this kind of tip in a lot of other pens, like the Statler ones, I really detest. Um, but I really like these, I don't know why. Like the felt tip just like feels so nice to draw with. Um, and yeah, you gotta try these out for yourself, would highly recommend, great stocking stuffer. Another thing I have been loving is the Tombow Fudenosuke drawing pen. I used to be a self-proclaimed Tombow Fudenosuke hater. I had always just like never bought one of my own and just used ones that I would like find or other people would give me. And so they would be very dry. So I had this impression that this pen was just very dry, but buying a fresh one has changed my life. I love the brush pen, but it's still firm enough because you know those brush pens that are so soft, it does feel like an actual brush. I don't like drawing with those. This one has like the variability of a brush, but still like the control of a pen. And it's, the, the tip is still firm enough that it feels like you have a good control over it. Another art supply gift that I think would be a great present or gift for yourself is wood panels. I have started using wood panels recently this year. I got inspired by my friend Lee, Lee Ellickson, um, who just like creates amazing, incredible artwork. You guys know, I don't have to <laughs> tell you guys about how amazing Lee is, but just seeing her wood panel art really inspired me. I tried it for myself and I have to say, it's so nice. I honestly prefer it to canvas. Um, sometimes I feel canvas is just so rough. It takes forever to build the color on. Wood panel is really nice and smooth. It still gives you a fun texture. Um, and you can buy a really cheap pack of them from Michaels. I think it'd be a great present. Um, they have more expensive ones at Blick and other art supply retail stores, but 
personally, after trying like a more expensive one and the cheap ones from Michaels, I can't tell the difference. So I will go get the affordable one. There's also this um, Japanese, I'm pretty sure, stationery store called High Tie. They sell like a bunch of different kinds of goods. I don't know if they had one in New York, but when I was in LA, they had one, which I never got to go to because they were always closed. Like marble trays that are so cute. So I really want to get some for myself. I feel like I always have so many bits and bobs on my desk and around the house. So I feel like getting these catch all trays would be a great gift. Um, I've also seen them sold at Yoseka Stationery, I believe. So yeah, those are two places you can like look at for inspo. You can go to Yoseka's website or also High Tide for like stationary goods. Next, I wanna shout out some things for all my fiber artists out there. I've been getting back into my fiber arts era recently and I think a great gift would be like a knitting crochet notions kit, which are just like little accessories for knitting and crochet, like stitch markers, um, little tape measures, cute little scissors. Getting this would be a great gift because I think when I first started out with crochet and knitting, I didn't really want to go out and buy that. I was excited about my knitting needles and my yarn, but like getting like the actual little tools that make your life easier. It's just something I didn't want to go out and get myself. They have really affordable sets on Amazon you can buy, but I also found like a cute one that sells it in this like vintage looking sheep tin. Um, I think it's, it's a bit more expensive. Like you don't obviously have to get this one, but I found it and I just thought it would be cute. So I thought I'd, I'd throw it out there. Another gift I think would be great for the fiber artists in your life is blocking mats. If they don't already have these, I think it'd be a wonderful gift. I recently got some for myself and it's just changed the game for me. I don't know why it took me so long to block. I guess it was just like very intimidating. So I naturally just like did not want to get them. I only really know how to do wet blocking, but you wet your piece in water and then you stretch it out and pin it to a mat. Um, you can also do it with a towel, but I think I personally like using a mat. It dries like in the shape you pinned it in, so it's a great way to like reshape fabrics and stuff after you're done with your project. I just have these like super affordable ones from Amazon that are just like these like rubber play mats you probably use as a child. I've seen some like very cute bamboo looking ones with like holes in, which I think would be cool because sometimes when I pin it, I'm like, this is not perfectly pinned, but they have these like wooden rods that you can like stretch your piece on that I think would be really, really nice. So I think that would be a good gift too. Next, I wanna talk about some small business stuff. Um, I love shouting out small businesses. First are some calendars. So if you follow me, you probably know I have um, a calendar I do every year that's cat themed. This year I had to cap off my calendar so they're no longer for sale. But if you missed out on them and you still want to get like a cute calendar, there are a bunch of other artists online that sell really cute calendars. Three off the top of my head are one by Helen Butcher or Boucher. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing her last name wrong. She has this really beautiful paper cut looking calendar. Um, so, so cute. I really, really love this calendar. With I think it'd be a wonderful present. Um, my friend Cecile, or also known as Cece's Art Cafe, made a really cozy calendar that has a bunch of cats in it. I'm pretty sure they're still for sale. Recently, I bought myself and my sister a calendar from Dawning Crow. Um, I love these cat calendars because the illustrations are just so heartwarming, so cute. It's a smaller size, so it's like perfect for your desk. If you work in an office, I think this would be like the perfect calendar to have. Before we go any further, I wanna take a quick break to thank Squarespace for sponsoring during this video. You guys know by now, Squarespace can help you build a great website, run your online business. Um, they even have like client invoicing services now, which I think is really cool. I love how Squarespace is constantly like putting out new features that would be very, very useful for all, any of us who want an online presence. It's super easy to set up new pages for like any purposes you may need. Their templates are beautiful. They have templates for your website itself, like the theme, but also a page template. So if you wanna have a page that just like isn't about bio, they have that ready for you. If you have a page where you have like three different services you wanna feature, they have that set for you as well. So very, very easy, great UI, UX experience, 10 out of 10 customer service. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Megan Wang for 10% off your first purchase. Thank you, Squarespace. Another small business that I think would be super cool to check out is this artist who goes by favorite.vegetable um, on Instagram. I think the artist's name is Matt. He makes the, honestly, like the best t-shirts I've ever seen. <laughs> I feel like that is such a dramatic statement, but honestly, like I love his t-shirt designs. I think he screen prints them himself too, which is super cool. All made on comfort colors t-shirts, which are like 
the expensive nice shirts so like would highly recommend checking his shirts out the designs are just so good recently i traded with one of my favorite artists ever um jennifer Shao. she runs mango town sells i'm sure you guys know cheeto tiger i'm so happy i finally own one i want to collect them all they are so cute um so lovable they're great collectibles i think this would be a wonderful present like you cannot tell me you wouldn't stare at this every day and just feel extreme joy. Next, we're gonna move on to more like tech related things. So the first thing I wanna shout out is this lamp that has changed my life. It's called the Jufo lamp. I got it off of Amazon. So I'm sure there's like other ones that are like very similar. This lamp has changed the game for me and it genuinely does light up the whole room. It's a great alternative to overhead lighting. So if you have a room where um, your overhead lighting is just booty and it looks terrible, um, getting one of these, can light up your whole room. You can change the color temperature with a remote too. It's also like touch sensitive, so you can change it on the lamp itself. But yeah, being able to change color temperature is so cool. This is the warmest setting. This is their like in-between setting and this is the coldest setting. During the day, I like to keep it on the coldest setting and I find that it kind of mimics natural light. So like this is it off. So when it's on, it just kind of like adds more light into the room. It gives this really nice diffusion of light that looks quite natural. The next thing I would like to recommend is the Blue Yeti mic. I have used this mic for around two years now. I think it's a great option if you like make content and you like want to film voiceovers. I think it's a great mic. Uh, it's not like the best mic you'll ever use. Like there are more expensive ones out there. But for us artists who are just like filming voiceovers, I, I think it's good enough. Um, a lot of my friends use it as well. Um, I'm pretty sure we're all happy with it so highly recommend this if you were trying to get into your youtube game you're making reels and stuff the last thing i want to chat about is this thing that i got this year that has also changed my life this is the sandisk ssd this little guy is so small and cute i feel like it's hard to, to tell like just how itty bitty it is it's just so small i honestly confession i didn't know about ssds i only knew about like bulky hard drives but this thing is so small and it has two terabytes on it so i edit off of this now so you might have noticed my videos are in 4k now because i have this because it stores all of my huge files. It's very fast too, so Final Cut Pro and my computer can write all the data back and forth very quickly. Um, because in previous situations where I have this big bulky hard drive, I would try to edit off of the hard drive and store all the files on there. But because it was so big and slow, my editing would take forever to process and get done. But this makes it like lightning fast and it just has like really changed the game for me. So I think this is great. It's also so small and portable. So if you like to work in cafes, I think you should get this. The last section we're going to talk about is just random stuff. I was not able to find a specific category to put this in. Um, just like very random things. I'm gonna talk about skincare, like home things. So this is the miscellaneous section, which is also my favorite section. But the first thing I wanna talk about is this water bottle you probably see me drink out of. This is the Awala Free Sip water bottle. This water bottle, I feel like changed my life. Like I drink water so much more now and it is the best water bottle I have ever used. And I've tried a lot of different bottles. This one in particular has a straw built in. So it just makes drinking water so easy. Like you just go like this. And you can drink water so you're gonna drink more water than you would if you didn't have the straw trust me um it comes in so many cute colors i got this one before i knew there was a pink and green one out so like if you're gonna get a new one i think you should get the pink and green one for me my sister's like just get it you you, you use it a lot but like i do not need two water bottles so another gift that's also like a drinking receptacle is something i've seen my sister use called the fellow mug they have a lot of different kinds. I think she has the move one and it also has this thing called a sip guard. So you can like tip your thing all the way back and like it doesn't splash you, which I think is just like such a small thing, but like must be really nice. I personally do not commute and I don't drink coffee. So like I don't have a need for this, but if you do either of those things, you find yourself on the go a lot and you have like a little thermos thing, I think this would be a really great gift. They're also just so cute. Like you cannot look at this and tell me it doesn't look adorable. Another thing I wanna quickly talk about is is the Bagu Go pouches. I recently received these as a gift. I just had all of my stuff in my bags before, just like loose and jumbling in my bags. And now everything's nice and organized. And this big one I use for like notebooks. I've even been able, been able to put my iPad in here. Um, I have the smaller one that I've been using for like tech and camera stuff. These little pouches can be very, very useful. 
Um, and they're also so cute. They come in like so many fun patterns and stuff. So I would highly recommend checking out Bagu, um, specifically these pouches. Another thing that I think would be a fun gift are these smart bulbs. I got these that are quite affordable. I'll put the, the ones I have and the price next to it because I know smart bulbs can be very expensive. I have ones that change just like the color temperature because I don't really need my house to be like purple. Um, at first, when my boyfriend got these, I was like, those are so dumb. Like I can turn on the lights myself. I do have to say it's really really nice to not have to turn on the lights every day. It's such a small thing but like it is really nice to just like be walking around your house and have like all the lights turn on. I also like that you can dim them and you can change the color temperature like I said before so none of the lights in my house are cold. They're all like a very nice warm hue that I can customize um, and I just think I think it'd be a great gift for you or someone else. Um, just because again, I feel like the, the nicest gifts are things that you might not get yourself But when you receive you're like, oh, I would totally use that And the last thing I want to talk about is the skin fix cream This is the most expensive lotion I have ever used But I will say it has really improved my skin texture I think it'd be a wonderful gift I recently kind of messed up my skin barrier because I was using a lot of active so like retinols and vitamin C's and just like very harsh irritating ingredients that were just like aggravating my skin I think with the weather change it also like really messed it up so when I was putting on moisturizer my skin would start to burn which was not good so I was researching products that can help protect and improve your skin barrier I was like oh my god this cream is so expensive um, I've never spent that much on skincare before so I was like okay maybe I'll splurge and like see if it actually works and unfortunately it works really really well i've got robert on it now and it just like makes your skin feel so smooth and really really hydrating um it's definitely a thicker cream so if you don't like thick creams i would not recommend this i hope this was a good little gift guide i wanted to keep it short and sweet not overwhelm you guys with too many things um, but if you want more recommendations, I made one last year, you can check that one out in the cards. And thank you so much for continuing to support me and watch my videos. I really, really appreciate you all. All your feedback and your comments are always so appreciated. I hope you have a really relaxing holiday season. Hope you're able to take some time off, spend some time with your family, take some time off work. If you have any recommendations, would love to hear them in the comments. I feel like the best recommendations always come from like other people and I feel like as we go through the year we always like have little things that we have used and really enjoyed so would love to hear anything you've been using this year that you've been loving as well and we can all get some like inspo from the comments so see you in the comment section let me know what you've been enjoying and I will see you guys super soon in my next one